Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Ancillary Dimensions reality update video, episode 49. And it's been like a week since the end of last episode. I made it all the way to 6E36 dilated time, 418 Tachyon Galaxies, almost 420. And um, Glyph, I just, I was going to do, I was going to do it yesterday, but I was literally 99% from level 8 to level 9, so I'm like, yeah, let's just wait another day. And, yeah, 2480 reality machines, 8525 eternity points. This is exciting. It's just, it's crazy. So, I think, well, first I'm going to actually export my save, because I have a plan for what I want to spend my reality machines on. I'm not sure if I can quite afford it. That might be worth it to wait out just a little longer but here we go i'm gonna make a new reality if pretty much pick that this this is the best glyph this is also pretty good but i think this one is slightly better because it has two effects and yeah so here we go <laughs> level nine glyph five levels higher than my best let's just do this so okay reality i mean it's not that new um i start with plenty of achievements um, due to some of my reality upgrades. And yeah, speaking of those, there's two reality upgrades I'm going to go for right off the bat. That is Eternal Amplifier and Boundless Amplifier. They're pretty cheap. And this hopefully should increase my glyph level. So the, the next one here is 7,500 reality machines. It's just quite a lot. Um, and then the other thing I'm going to do are the black hole. And this is my plan. I'm going to do everything that's relatively cheap. So I can do the first upgrade once. And okay, this is where I did not know how much it would be. 184, which I think is within what I want here. I knew this is 644. I've seen that. So this takes it to just 30 minutes to unlock between the black hole activations. But it gets even better because I can make... The black hole 35% stronger one, two, three times. Now it is almost 600 times as powerful as without the black hole, which means I'm getting 10 minutes of progression in one second. And I can extend the black hole duration by 30%. And this has the usual four times cost scaling. So this means it'll last almost 22 seconds. So this means I wait half an hour for 22 seconds of 10 minutes per one second progression. But this is where I think it's not sure. Actually, I'm realizing I did some calculations wrong, whatever. Um, I thought this was going to be some off 320. That is not the case. But basically my other plan was... To use the rest of the reality machines. Actually, before we do that, let's unequip glyphs. Um, and then I guess start the reality over. I think. Um unequip. How do I can I just drag them? No. Can I I just wanna unequip? Can I just do this? Um, okay, yes, that, that's, that's fine. Okay, so, basically I'm going to use the exact same glyph setup, except that, um, this glyph is being traded for this glyph. So, it's just more power, more everything, it's just good. And, yeah, what I was going to do here was, I was going to get another temporal amplifier, because I can never have enough dilated time. So, we're going to do that. The next one is... 2700 reality machines and then yeah the plan was here was to be able to afford two of these except i assume this is gonna be 320 instead of 640 i can do all of these and i can just choose one i don't know which one is best i'm probably just gonna go with this one because it's 35 percent although this one does seem pretty nice um, yeah, I'm just gonna go this one. It's, it is the best. So, 
I'm doing that now. That means I'm getting 13 minutes of progression for every minute. Yeah, this is going to be crazy. It's going to be another very long reality. Just like last one. Now, the other thing I can pick is my perks. And I have, I have like a grand master plan here for how I'm going to spend the next perk points due to the automator. I'm now at 62 automator points. And I know that... I've, I've explained this. I'm going to get the um, a few automator points from all the... I'll get like 30. And then I'll be getting like the last eight from just reality -ing. So... The main choice is between this, this, or this. This is a horrible perk, so I'm not going to go for it. And this it could be useful, but I want to try something else. This is the passive perk. Because it makes the passive path better. And, it, and the really interesting thing is it makes Replicanti three times faster. Which in some cases might be the very thing to do. Thinking about Eternity Challenge 11, so we're gonna go the we're gonna go this perk, and there isn't really much to say for the beginning of the reality because it isn't all that much different than last reality. I'm only gonna say something for notable things. Actually, speaking of notable things, um, there is this new the, the the charts got revamped here, so we can now see the glorious. <laughs> Yeah, we, we can see all this, and for whatever reason, it doesn't, didn't say glyph level here, but yeah. It, it's, it, it's interesting. And I don't really think there's any balancing changes being done. And the thing is, I don't really want to cover all this reality anyway, because next episode is going to be a live stream where I attempt to do an entire reality in a single live stream. So, yeah, I'm only going to go over notable things, so... Yeah, see in a bit. Okay, I'm back only like an hour, maybe two hours later. And I have all achievements due to the black hole being a lot more powerful. And you can see I'm up to 1430 eternity points with completions of all eternity challenges except 11. Because 11 is the one that screws me over all the time. So I'm going to do an experiment here. My first completion eternity challenge 11. I will start with my usual Attorney Challenge 11 build. It's going to be kind of crappy. It shouldn't take too, too long. Um, I mean, there isn't that much boost from last episode, but it should be at least a little something. And let's see how long it takes. Okay, here we go. Challenge complete. This took a total of... 52 seconds. Remember the last time it took like a minute and 52 seconds for the second completion? This is what I'm gonna do my this is what I'm gonna do my experiment. So I'm going to edit this. I am going to I could probably just do it like this. Can I um I can't really I I can't really click those, but I can basically do a two, a two, and a two instead of a three. This puts me on the passive path instead of the um, usual idle path. And because Replicanti are three times faster, that's why I'm thinking it might actually be better for Eternity Challenge 11. So that's what I'm going to do. The galaxies are weaker. I'm not sure what the trade-off I really want here is. But I, I got to at least try this. So this is definitely quicker to E450. It only took about like 25 to 30 seconds instead of 50 seconds to get to E450. And it looks like it's actually going to be better up to E650. I'm actually getting a faster time to E650 than it took to get E450 last time. That's actually a really good sign here. If we go to... Go to um, this thing it says it took 46 seconds to complete the second completion of Eternity Challenge 11. So that means going passive is actually a, a strategy for this challenge. I just needed that perk that makes the passive path actually decent. 
And it's and even despite this, it's still the worst path for almost all scenarios. It just just Eternity Challenge 11, because it's just such a nasty challenge that very few things actually boost stuff in. <laughs> That's when it actually shines. So even the third completion is about a minute and 40 seconds, which is quicker than the second completion last time. So this is really good. I remember the fourth completion took somewhere around like 13, 14 minutes last time. There might be some small buffs that would make the baseline like 12, 13 minutes, but if it's under 12 minutes, that definitely means Passive Path is still the best of the fourth completion. So let's do that. Oh, something just happened here that I didn't realize, and an Auto Eternity Challenge completion triggered for the fourth completion of Eternity Challenge 11. So actually, now my goal was um, is E1250. I was about to say, oh, I, I was able to hit E1050 in under five minutes, but now... I mean, yes, that is true, but the challenge is already complete from the Auto Eternity Challenge thing, so now all you need to do is get the last completion of Eternity Challenge 11, and I think before the baseline is like thir at least 30 minutes, so let's see how long it'll take this time. Okay, so it's been almost 20 minutes in this Infinity, and... The challenge, I think the weaker replicated galaxies are really getting to me because I'm still pretty far from the challenge goal. Luckily, there is something that is going to save me right now, and that is the black hole. Because this is going to do something like six hours of progression, and I'll get there pretty easily. So it takes, it takes an hour of game time. I could just pause the black hole here um, and save it for what I want, but it's an hour of game time. For that last completion so i kind of need the black hole for it unfortunately which is yeah very i thought i was going to be able to really get away with it but uh no that that's not really a thing i can just see just for fun just how many eternity points i can get without dilation because that's always fun like i can get all the way to e1542 it's enough for um all the time dimensions is enough for eternity point multipliers. It's actually kind of crazy how far I can get. But I mean, this could actually help because of that first dilation run being just crappy. And if it's still crappy, that's where I can use the rest of that black hole. Or so anyway, I'm gonna unlock dilation, and I should probably respec my eternity points and go into my dilation build. And then do this, and it's not even a problem. And yeah, dilation is dilation, which means that it is gonna be super fast. It's actually three times faster from even the last even the last time. Yeah, it's it's that crazy. It I I can gain E8 tachyon particles. It's just it, it starts off just so ridiculously fast that <laughs> There's, there's no use talking about it. I can even get, you know, that, um, the passive time theme generation. I'm also getting a 30 points without even trying. E16, it's slowing down slightly, but we can, of course, get, you know, triple the amount of tachyon particles gain. And I'm using, like, very sub-optimal strategies, I think. And, yeah, E18, just get this. Maybe go a little bit more for eternity points now. It's going to be just super easy to get everything, even the, the time theorems here. And there's one of these. I'm literally not even I'm not even going optimal here. I just I just want the eternity points and like just the time theorems here. So I'm up to seventh time dimensions. Here will be up to eighth time dimensions. So that's gonna be pretty good. Unless I literally don't have the oh, I literally don't even have these purchased. And it's like four seconds until I get that last thing. So yeah, just get that. And then this gets me all the way to E4000. It's just that easy. So I'm actually going to do, I'll do a little bit of automation here. Do it at E300. And yeah, let's see what our glyphs are. Um, well, I need to purchase the reality study. I always forget this, this tiny step. But here we go. So we got four glyphs. We got... Your standard, this is pretty exciting. And it's just because of this dilated time glyph. 
TT per hour is garbage, but I finally have a flat DT glyph. Finally. I've been asking for this for ages, and I have it. The other glyphs are a replication glyph. I feel like I had I had the choice to get this. It's garbage. This is garbage, and this is okay, but this is way better. So yeah, we're getting we're getting this one next reality. This means I'm gonna swap my replication glyph because it's really just a cheap version of this glyph. That that's that's all it is. So yeah, anyway, I can do this, gain a lot of tachyon particles this way. I can probably just disable this automation and yeah, there's some really exciting stuff coming up. Because now, now with this, I'll be able to just, I'm going to get be able to get so much more dilated time than before. And I mean, okay, maybe it's not all that much, but especially with like a lot of reality machines, which that's what I think I might be able to get. Also, I think I should probably start um, going to dilation most of the time now for the extra dilated time. And yeah, it's it, really this run is just going to be basically the same as last run, except things are slightly better. Like I have three times dilated time boost. The black hole is a lot more powerful, which actually I can use if I really want. It's, I mean, yeah, 22 seconds, 800 times. I just calculated it's just under five hours of progression in a single black hole thing. So yeah, that's, that's pretty good. And I can get all of these. I can probably just do this. And then maybe here's where I can unpause the black hole and it's going to be really quick. So just don't mess this up. Eight seconds left. Get this. E27 dilated time. Four seconds. Get this. E29. And boom. There we go. That was... It's, it's crazy how much progression I'm able to get there. And my glyph level is up to six, which means that this is even higher. Like, the most I've ever seen from this glyph is maybe 13 times. So going from 13 max to just... 80 just like that like this is gonna be insane <laughs> really like in next reality once i get the dilate oh the thing is I'm, I'm gonna go quicker so i'm not really going for long runs but that's okay next reality live stream see you then hope you enjoyed peace out mm -hmm.